Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and today I'm going to be sharing with you three mushy signs that you might have found your twin flame. Watch this video. Hey, welcome back. So everybody always wonders, did I find my twin flame? What are some of the signs? And believe me, the signs are so different depending on who you are, what you believe in, what you chose to be your soul mission. Um, your twin flame relationship can start off dreamy, it can start off rocky. It really just depends on you as a person, your twin as a person, what you guys chose before coming in here. But today I'm going to be giving you three of like some gushy, mushy signs that they are then, you found them, welcome home, here they are. Um, and the first one is just that. You feel at home, you feel at peace. And the best way I can think of to describe this is just like a sense of belonging. You know, a lot of a lot of people that chose to have twins in this lifetime have come in with almost like I don't want to say a piece of them missing, but almost feeling like they're they're out of place. You know, like maybe you incarnated into a family where you never really felt like you belonged. And this is true for a lot of light workers, this is true for a lot of star seeds, this is true for a lot of highly sensitive people or a lot of empaths. Um, so most often, generationally, the people that are more aware or enlightened or whatever you want to call it on a spiritual path are going to be the ones in the family that feel like the black sheep, right? And so when you meet your twin, there's this instant recognition of like, I'm home. I made it. They're the one. And it's not in like a desperate way. It's in like a, I fucking finally did it way. Like I moved through everything I needed to move through and now I can rest. You know, maybe you feel like you've just been on the run your entire life. You've been searching, you've been seeking, you've been looking for answers, you've been looking for truth, you've been healing yourself, you've just been go, 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 go. And when you meet your twin, you're like, ah, oh. <sighs> the weight comes off and you feel like now I can just rest. Now I can just create what I want to create. Now I can just have fun. You know, the, the seriousness, the heaviness, the, the work kind of feels like it comes to an end a little bit. The second thing that you might notice if you've met your twin is that you feel like you can really just be your full authentic self. You don't ever feel that there's any judgment coming from them. And if you do feel judgment, you realize very quickly that it's your own projected judgment. So it's actually you judging yourself and you're perceiving them as judging you. Because what will happen is, like, say they make a funny comment to you and you're like, what the fuck? And you're like, what? Like, why would you say that to me? And then you realize and you ask them, like, are you judging me? And they'll instantly say, no, what do you mean? Like, I would never, that's not what I was getting at. And you'd be like, ah, okay. It was my own judgment against myself that I was projecting onto you. So when you really meet your twin flame, what you'll notice is you feel just held. You feel held. You feel unconditional. You feel like you can say anything at any point. You can just really truly be who you are. And it's accepted. It's fully accepted. And not only is it accepted, but it's embraced. It's like every time you reveal a little more of yourself with your twin, it's like they love you even more. Even though you don't think it's possible that they could even love you more than what they do, it feels like, whoa, we're discovering this new part of ourselves together now. Um, and so that's just such a really beautiful part of being in this union, in this twin flame relationship. Is Especially for me, I've noticed that you know, I had a lot of hesitant um, hesitation behind being silly or being goofy. And my twin is super goofy. So every time I notice like a part of myself that blooms a little bit more or opens up a little bit more in this kind of silly or goofy or like nonsensical space, he just like looks at me and he's like, wow, 
He's like, I love you. And he's like, you're so cute. You're so adorable. And I'm like, and I'm almost a little embarrassed of myself because I'm judging myself, right? But that's the whole idea here with the twin is like they are meant to mirror back to you um, what's going on for you um, or what's going on for them, right? So he truly loves this silly part of himself. So when I'm able to open up and express myself in a silly way, it actually makes him feel more comfortable and makes him feel more accepted for his own goofiness and his own quirks. So it works twofold like that. It works where when one person opens up more of themselves, we see that beautiful deeper side of them and we we just, we envelop them, we embrace them and we, you feel like there's no judgment. You could literally do or say or be anything and it's accepted and it's so beautiful. Third sign that you may have met your twin right now is that you're ready. You're ready to meet them. You're ready to fulfill a bigger purpose. And when you meet them, it's kind of when all of this starts to be revealed to you. You know, like you may have felt your entire life like I'm meant for something bigger. There's something more out there for me. And you just never felt like you could really grasp that, right? You never really felt like you're always reaching for it, but you never really felt like you could get there. And so when you meet your twin, that's when all of this stuff starts to open up. And I'll tell you why. The reason for this is because when two twins come together, their energy fields get magnetized, right? They become that much bigger. Um, and so what happens is things start coming to them because their love is so con unconditional. Their love is so magnetic between the two of them. It can't help but create its own gravitational force field. And then things start just magnetizing to you. So things you might notice once you meet your twin and you're with your twin is life becomes a lot easier. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, things become a lot easier. You might have more job opportunities. You might find you have more or different or new or exciting friends. You may get the opportunity to do things that you've always wanted to do, like travel or create art or do things that are more, more passion based um, and maybe less practical. And so you're finding yourself with all of these different opportunities, which in turn will make you have to grow because they're new, so it's scary, but it's the point that you're ready for something bigger. You're ready for this feeling of fulfillment. You're ready to serve a bigger purpose because coming together with your twin is all about being bigger than yourself. You know, you finally come to a place in your journey where you're humble. You have humility. You realize you're not the end all be all of everything, right? You're great and you're complete and you're whole as you are. And there might not be anything more you need. But the point is, is that you're doing something that's bigger than you. So it brings a lot of humility into your life experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up like it, comment, subscribe down below for more. If you're looking for more guidance on the twin flame journey, believe me, it can be a hard one to navigate. Even just conscious relationships in general are a struggle, right? Our entire world, our entire lives are centered around relationships because we can't exist without each other. So navigating this challenging area of relationships is my specialty. So if you're looking for more guidance or information, you can follow the links below. You can fill out my coaching form if you're interested in working with me personally or one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and if you would like to sign up for my bi-weekly women's circle, I will have the link down below. All you have to do is go to my website and the first thing that pops up to you will be blah, 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 blah. Do you want to join this weekly or bi-weekly women's circle? And you just put your email in and I'll send you all the details. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps me reach new people and get more guidance out there, which is what I truly want to do. It's just, I just want to help more people. I want more people to be informed about conscious relationships and how you can actually find ease and love and joy within your relationships. So please subscribe, share it with your friends if you're really feeling generous. Um, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Big love, Serena.